Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to explain the flyweight pattern. This pattern is used when we have a program that has at runtime a lot of object instances. And this object instances needs a lot of memory space. And with this pattern I try to reduce the memory space what is used by the object instances. If we look into the UML diagram, we see that the flyweight pattern contains the flyweight objects, which is which are separated by the shared flyweight and the unshared flyweight. The shared flyweight is used by more than one instance, and the unshared flyweight is used by only one instance. And the flyweight factory here is responsible to return the correct shared flyweight object. Now I explain it in the source code. For that I create an object. It is a class. I call it the context. And the context has some properties. For example, a string ID string property underline one then I copy this property two property three property four then I create a constructor public context and this context takes one argument proper property underline one and with this property I can create or set the other properties so the property number two is property one plus something else this property free is property property two and something else and this property four is property one plus property two Well, that's my context and now I create a lot of instances of this context in a for loop. I think 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 10 million instances. Context is new context argument. Argument. And then I need a list of context. Into this list, I save all my context instances. So context dot add context. And after I create my instances, I write console dot write line the amount of instances well so I start the program and on the right side we see how many memory I need for my instances so we see four gigabyte memory space so I write this here down for gigabyte memory space for hundred for ten million instances of my context and the next step is to implement the flyway pattern to separate an intrinsic state from a extrinsic state 
what is this? the extrinsic state is a state which is unique or which is unshared so if you see this id i didn't create here an id so i forgot this but at the end it does not change the result so i use the date date time object now get hash code to string to create a, a randomly unique ID and that's my extrinsic state this state is unshared and this properties we see that this property depends on my argument so if the argument is equal then another argument the other properties are also the same so I can use this as an intrinsic state and this state can be shared with other instances so for that I create an interface a flyweight flyweight and also a class which implements the flyweight it's my shared flyweight and this class contains my intrinsic state so I need a constructor to create these properties and I create from my property one all the other properties then I need here a flyway object which contains the properties for my instance and now I need a factory which creates or returns me an instance of a flyweight of a shared flyweight so for that I create a static class and I call it the flyweight factory And this factory has a private static dictionary. The key is a string and the value is a flyway object. I call this dictionary flyweights. Then I need a method which returns me a flyway object. This is public static. The return type is a flyweight and I call this method get flyweight. And I need something that can, that can be useful to separate all flyweight objects. So we see that the constructor takes only one argument and all these properties in the shared flyway are depends on this argument. So I take this argument for this method and now I can decide if my dictionary contains the property 1 I return the, the shared fly weight object inside my dictionary when this dictionary does not contain this string here as a key I have to create a new shared flyway object so I say underline flyweights dot add new uh, the key is a property 
one new shared flyway object and as an argument I take the property one argument here after I create the new flyway object I can return the new created flyway object so that's my factory and in my context I can say this flyway is so I ask my or I call my flyway factory and use the method get flyweight and delegate this string property here to my factory and I get a flyway object back back and the factory decides if the factory has to create a new flyway or if the factory returns me an existing instance so in the previous context I have for each context four properties from type string now when I create 10 million instances I have only one object which contains my properties so my size of the memory what I have to use will be decrease but I try it I start the program and we see I need only one gigabyte for my 10 million instances the previous context used 4 gigabyte so I saved 3 gigabyte of my memory at runtime okay that's the flyweight pattern I hope I explained it well if I forgot something please write this into the comments so that I can improve my videos for you and hopefully I see you in the next video and bye